Okay, and we continue on with our posse. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing oh, came right. on, yeah, didn't, didn't you? <laughs> what a beautiful day it is right now. It is. Actually, it looks cloudy out of that window, but it's beautiful. And <laughs> Don't look over there. Just look over the blue skies. <laughs> also, like, an issue is, too, is that, like, because of the control that we're using, like, it could be a little wonky right now. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's old. I mean, we're using, like, a, like a GameCube controller. Yeah. It, it's just, like, a classic one. Mm-hmm. Such a good design. This it's like the best. Am this game looks one. amazing. Also, sounds good too. I know. Like, there's I mean, so some of the Mario noises are just like very classic. There's and... so many good like games for the GameCube. Like you mm -hmm. got Paper Mario: Thousand Year Door, mm -hmm. Metroid Prime, which was which is amazing. Um, just like pretty much also any Mario Party or you. We gotta go to that guy at some point. At we some more, point, we need we more star pieces. Can't do anything right now. <laughs> Who's that hottie you got there with ya? Thanks! <laughs> what's up? What's up? Why don't you hang with us for a little while? What a, what a fun looking Goomba! What are you doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing with that with a chunkster? Hey, we do not body shame here. Yeah. You, yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> we missed a good Goombella joke, how dare! Cold! <laughs> Nobody zings us like that. Nobody! Let's get him! Now we're gonna learn about strategy. Yeah, some strats. Oh. Can't flee. Mm -hmm. So we have a Goomba, a Spiny, and a Para. Yeah. Careful with the Spinies. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the microphone caught that. I hope so. I think the coffee's working inside you. Mm-hmm. Almost done this coffee, finally. It was good. It was okay. What kind of what kind of coffee do you like? Um, I, I just like regular black coffee to be honest. Pour over. But yeah. like, do you like a dark roast, a light roast? I like. Oh, that was the thing too. There was medium and dark roast available at the uh, coffee shop, mm -hmm. but I didn't know what you guys preferred, so I got medium roasts. I feel like that's usually safe. It's a safe bet, but I do like dark roast. I think I like most of them, but I'm learning uh, more about flavors and like what I actually do like or not in coffee. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think I like fruity notes in coffee. No, neither do I. Cause we- It's too acidic, I feel. I think that's it. And then, but now I'm just developing it. Every year I get more into a random type of drink. Like before it was like beer. Then mm -hmm. it was like wine, and I'm just like trying to but then enhance oddly myself. En oddly enough, when it comes to beer, I like fruity notes in beer. So I like I like the citrus. Do you like hoppy? No, not at all. <laughs> I was gonna say hoppy is my least favorite thing. No, I don't. I like um, what are they called? The citrus ones. Sours? Or the, yeah, that's it. Yes. I mean, but I think this is why I like Rogueport is because it because it's a hub. It it's the amalgamation of all the things that you can do eventually. Like eventually, we'll be able to like navigate through this area so much quicker. Mm -hmm. It's like a Metroidvania. Get knocked on. But yes, before I was talking about like all the good games on GameCube. Um, another good one. Did I just mention Wind Waker? I don't think you did. Wind Waker, amazing. Which I'm actually playing right now and. Amazingly gorgeous game. Like I'm not doing the remaster or port, like the Wii U port. It, that's the thing because of the sh um, cell shading, like because of its like artistic design too. I feel it's aged very well. And I think like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom because they're doing the same thing. It, it, it will be also the same. age. Yeah, compared to say like um, like Twilight Princess, that's not going to age as well. I think people are trying to convince themselves that like, yeah, I'm not sure. It looks good. Yep. Um, Messed up. I played. <laughs> I played what? What do you call it? Skyward Sword, mm -hmm. and the art design for that uh, was so that it would look good on CRT televisions because it came out right at the end of the Wii generation. Mm -hmm. So like CRT TVs were still like very much a thing for households. So they wanted to make something that still looked good. Nice. So they. That's why they did the like the impressionist art style. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I am trying to run right now. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Do I not go here? Not yet. These blocks here. Can I can smash I them with a hammer? There. Oh, I can. Okay, nice. I think it's the gray ones that are. Um, it's teaching you about yes. what you can do. You Game get, mechanics. You gotta explore more. Swamp more things with your hammer. Like. Like that thing. Like. Kill it. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's a rat. Okay. Can I jump on you? Yes, yes you can. The problem also with the Paper Mario stuff is like, it's combining 2D with 3D. So it's very hard to get like the depth perception. You do have to get used to it. Um, also, same thing with Wind Waker, I'll say, because like maneuvering that game is like a lot harder because you can't actually change the camera angle. But no, it, that's so weird. But it's like, it's still like bringing back like all that kind of stuff. Like, Ew. Uh. Um, it's so funny because like when games when games came around to where you're able to um, start moving the camera, I hated that when they first introduced that me like uh, mechanic into games. I was like, why? I'm, I'm sorry, like, how old are you? Were you like around when 64 just came out? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> I was also around when the Super <laughs> Wait, Nintendo first came out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm old, yes. But like I guess I just never realized. I'm so like, sorry. Well, it's just like... Um, ex wait. Hold on to that thought. We have a treasure <gasps> chest. This is my favorite character. Oh, uh, ooh, are we gonna get some treasure? Whoa! <laughs> hey, you! Can you hear me? Wait, hold on. You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Ooh! What? Yes. Oh, me? <laughs> me? Me? <laughs> Am well, I you? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else? Nothing. Ooh. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. You have did a good, you made a good choice in naming yourself hero. Thank you. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings you, brings a hero like you to a place like this? Everybody's hitting on Mario. <laughs> He's kind of a stud. I guess. He's kind of He's got the dad a hunk. hunk. <laughs> By the way, oh, that clear blue sky? Gone. <laughs> Come so, through. So first you should look for a key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Do that. By the way, the key looks like this. Key. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you just kind of trailed off there. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you describe it? Qualitative terms, please. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, we have to help this person. They're, we are obviously. They're a person in need. Oh, is it here? Yes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Ah! <laughs> Run! <laughs> you brought the key. Oh man, I owe you big. Oh, I bet you do. Yes. Thank. Ha! Think nothing! <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Loser! Wee! <laughs> Fools! Honestly, the best bit. I love this guy. Mario's pissed. And I just love the, the evolution of this guy, too. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. <laughs> what, you think I was gonna help you? Also, maybe that should be my jack o' lantern carving this year. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Buggly wuggly woo! You're cursed! Oh, damn. Yeah. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? <laughs> sweet curse? Then listen well. I curse you and I'm gonna thoroughly explain it to you. You're welcome. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah. I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. Doomed. This curse is pretty. Yeah, now he's gonna tell you exactly yeah, how to do it. He's so nice. So nice about the curses. Uh, yeah, we got it. It's terrible. It's terrible. So it's, it's, terrible. Wow, it's really terrible. Oh my god. If you press V, you might return to normal. Maybe, he says. Maybe. So not always. It might not always happen. Farewell, you foolish fool. Oh, love you. Bye. Bye, we love you. Bye, Jake. 
Does he even have a name? I'm naming him Jake now. Jake. Bye, Jake. Wow, just... Wow, what was that guy's beef? Beef was a term back then. He was... Yeah. He was stuck in a box for a long time, Goombella. I Moving think on. he puts himself in the box. Don't put yourself in a box. I think he just wants Expand to curse people. Expand yourself. You have more than Reverse one identity. Genie. Uh, oh, well, what do you know? Uh, uh, uh. Plink? <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's Whoa. go. Whoa! Whoa! Good flying. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! So mysterious. It's got the chime sound in the background. Could it be? It's the thousand year old door sp spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true after all. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Ooh, let me jump on it. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> the, the majesty. Mm-hmm. The intrigue. Professor, what's going on? Oh, right, the map. I was like, so does it just happen to anybody who stands on it? But no, you have the map. You have the that's map. Probably yeah. what's, that's probably what's getting that. It's the key. <laughs> But not all the key. I gotta say, that door's still in very good condition considering it's a thousand years. It's like still. Pretty... It's a magic door. It's not dusty at all, I'm just saying, like. Gotta make sure it looks nice. Ah. All the places we will visit. Does this mean this map is a thousand years old? In which case, it's very modern. I'm more impressed by the map looking good more than the door, to be honest. I know, I'm just, I'm just saying it's very modern in that there's, like, modern towns on there. Maybe it just constantly updates. Oh, you learned just such a special move! Sweet treat! A sweet treat! A little sweet treat? A little, it just, you want a little, little sweet treat? Oh, that means the audience is coming! Yay! Yeah, that's true. I was trying to think of when they show up. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? It's like when all the cool kids go to a party. Uh, what and what would you know about that? Nothing, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I'm never invited. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, one way or another, we shall return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, yeah. go. Let's finish this prologue. <laughs> study <laughs> music. Oh, is that's like the fish noise from Wind Waker? Quack, quack, small fry. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, how about that light we saw shining on Mario? By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move, quote unquote. A special move? A sweet treat. Not not a common move, obviously. Explained by example. Would Let's you like see. to try it out? No. We're no. Good. No. no! It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star can be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. What if the crystal star was moved off into a location off the map? I think it's a magic map that honestly updates over time. Okay. Because right now, it is with a certain someone who wanders around. This is true. And there's also one censored on the Yeah, but the on the map. And the it's on the map. I guess the is gonna change. The area is a vast meadow uh, spanning east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name it's so pleasant. <laughs> it is very pleasant. And you know what? The people there are not pleasant at all. They're so rude there. Uh, are they? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea of him being like slightly prejudiced to Koopas. <laughs> just be like so old. He's just like, oh, you know what they're like. <laughs> Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about petal metals and their locale. <laughs> it doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to petal metals on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Foreigners? All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Metals, you two go. 
If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Uh-huh. Here you go. Thank you. Aren't you coming? No! <laughs> I am ancient. <laughs> Dear child, what's wrong with I you? I will be shanked before you can even blink. Can we, like... Oh, wait, that's just for bosses. That trash can has secrets later. Ah. Oh, a badge. Where did you get that, sir? Power Hold smash! On, Mario. I do have a spiked hammer for you I, that I always keep by my bedside. It destroyed all my nails. It's not a very good hammer. <laughs> I wanted to renovate this place a bit, but you can see according to my windows, I did a terrible job. <laughs> <laughs> Take this with you. <laughs> so anything we can do here now, or do we kind of just like, should just go to Petal Metals? And... Go back to where the noose, noose is. Yeah. Go back to um, the town square execution spot. Of course. <laughs> Post haste. <laughs> <laughs> Try my darndest. <laughs> Uh, keep going, go. keep going, and then let like, go to the back. Maybe there's something there. I also love how, like, I feel there's like one. this is him. E whoops. Uh, oh yeah, it is you. Yeah, yeah okay. I remember this. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. Hey, Sweet. wait, 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 go back. There's, there's star piece. <gasps> You're right. Hooray. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, uh, I guess let's go to Petal Meadows. Let's -a go! Let's -a go! We're continuing on the journey. And oh, look at this! Something we, we our newly obtained ability. This Thanks. must be where we go. Oh. Thanks, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Bye, Jake. <laughs> ah, what do we got here? Oh, is this a little tentacle? What if I were to? Oh. Ouch, that hurt. It was kind of rude that you just like see something with and you're like, what's that? Smash it with the hammer! He is a menace to <gasps> society. Your first audience point. Oh, we'll always remember these people. Now, do you know about stylish moves? Oh my gosh, I for kind of forget the when they come up. Yeah, I forget when they come up too, but... Do you know how to do stylish moves? You press A, like, repeatedly at certain points, mm, right? Not repeatedly, but at the right point. At the right point. Slimy, nasty, icky things. Rude! Gross. Bloopers are delicious. Max HP is blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So, with jumping, you press... Okay, just, just go. <laughs> So for jumping, um, with Mario jumping, you press A again at the top of your jump, and that will be a stylish jump. <laughs> oh, you got two audience members! Nice! Yeah! One of them is like, oh! They love it! Good, 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 good. Tentacles are gone! Oh, no, oh there down. we go. We'll use the badge that frankly gave us. Which does a fair bit of damage. Ooh. Yeah, actually quite a bit. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Dang. I forgot about that feature, honestly. It's hard. Oh yeah, and we do have Sweet Treat if we do get low on health. We do have Sweet Treat. Um, I'm gonna do that again because he, well. he is a boss. Do we have to pay for the end when we go there? Or, like, any in? Yes. I go. But, like, you get so many coins, and you can only have a max number of coins with this, so it's like, you may as well use them. How how many coins can you get? Because, yeah, I think it's like, I always had too much money. I think it's 999. Okay. Yay, we did our first boss! Hooray! I'll try not to hoard money in this game. So, buy items. Uh, <laughs> we already passed by the... <coughs> Because I can't run, this is gonna be so oh hard. God, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would have been so funny. <laughs> I'm okay. so scared. Oh, this is so tense. Oh, yeah, okay. Just one get more. Because if you miss yes. it, you start at the beginning. No. Okay. Oh, okay. Nailed it. All right, okay. <laughs> Stop wishing for my failure. But now it's not me playing, so this is wonderful. <laughs> 
<laughs> Give me and the faulty it. control. It's the end of the prologue and we're at the start of chapter one. Yeah. Yay! That was a good prologue. A wonderfully paced, appropriately lengthed prologue. <laughs> Castle and the Dragon. We're intrigued. We're ready to go. And I guess, yeah, when we pick up, we're going to start our next chapter. And we're here at Petal Meadows. I see the castle. I see the castle. I see London. I see France. I see... Never mind. I don't see any underpants. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>